Hello, I'm Ray, G4NSJ. See these? Something like 500 million of these have been sold. The Bofang UV5R. I recently discovered something that this can do. I didn't know what it could do. This is important. I wanted to find out the CTCSS tone, continuous tone controlled squelch system, okay, that um, a local repeater uses. Now it's not amateur radio repeater, it's a business repeater. And I just out of interest wonder what the CTCSS tone was that they're using. How do you find out? Well, you can't. I thought you can't, anyway, you can. With this, I'm gonna show you how to do it. This, you can scan the tones. Go onto the frequency you want, and then you can scan the CTCSS tones when a signal comes up on that frequency. Have a look at the video clip. Okay, we've got light reflecting here and there, but turn your radio on. Frequency mode. Okay, either go to your frequency you want to put in. Channel mode. Or your channel, all right. Frequency mode. We'll do it on this frequency for now. So that's the frequency we want. Press menu. Menu. We want to go to, I think it's 11. There we are, CTCSS. Press menu. This is RT, this is RCTCS, all right. Then, just put in any old figure, normally to start at the bottom one, 67 hertz is best. Menu again, then menu again, then scan once quickly. And I don't know whether you can see, top left, CT is flashing there we are a signal has come up and it is searching can you see that it's searching for a tone if the signal goes off it stops okay it's now waiting for a signal again there it is it's not finding a tone there isn't a tone there so what it will do all the time the signal is there it will just keep searching through the, the tones that it's got. If it finds a tone, then it will stop on the tone and you've got the readout here. For, say that was it, for example, 179.9 hertz. Okay, so just to reiterate, turn your radio on, okay? Go to the memory channel that you've got set, if it's a repeater or whatever, or a frequency. All right, once you're on your frequency or channel, press menu, go to menu 11, which is receive CTCS. So it says R-CTCS, all right, go there. Press menu again, and then you can go to the, what I do is go to the lowest tone, which is 67. Okay, so you've got the up and down buttons, choose your, your tone. That's where it starts scanning, so you might as well start at the bottom, which is 67 hertz. Okay, press the menu and it says confirm. Press the menu again and it says CTCSS. Then scan button quickly, just once. Blip. And you've got CT flashing in the top left corner there. And it is waiting now for a signal to come up. Once it hears a signal on that frequency, or your memory channel, it'll start scanning for a tone. Now in my case, there was no tone, so it would just keep scanning through all the tone list. Go right to the end, then start again. Um, if it finds a tone, it'll stop. Now I just found the tone of this local business repeater by doing a scan on here. It's 88.5 hertz. There we are, it started scanning at 67, going through the tones, while they were talking on the, the local repeater, it stopped 88.5. And to prove that that's correct, I set receive in here at 88.5, and when they talk, I can hear them. If I had the wrong tone, I wouldn't hear them. Now then, there's a slight weirdity here. That I've been showing you is the UV5RA. Okay, I don't know what the difference is. This is a UV5R. I've got lots of these. Hang on, I'll show you. There we are. <laughs> Loads of bow fangs. Look at them all. I don't know why I've got so many. I think I've got more somewhere else. I have found on these, okay, what these do 
you start you do exactly what I said all right and it says CT and it flashes but only for a short while after I don't know 10 seconds or so it stops that and goes back to the the channel number or your frequency readout this is the only one that stays with CT flashing I think it's some firmware difference is it between these I don't know so what you have to do on these if you've got one that doesn't keep flashing CT what you have to do is get it all ready right you're on the frequency you've got the menu set to number 11 so all you've got to do a signal comes up all right they start talking press your menu do exactly what I said while they're chatting and it will come up with the tone it will start scanning the the letdown is these are very slow at scanning okay it doesn't whip through them all so if you've got a say a local business repeater like I have where all they do is say something for example you know, John are you there can you bring me that file down from the front office yeah okay on my way that's it you haven't this hasn't had a chance to scan all the codes then you hear nothing for two hours and then John you want a cup of tea yeah Roger that'd be nice that's it <laughs> you know, so you, you've got to have a lot of patience but uh, that is really interesting because I've often wondered how to find out the CTCSS tones. Uh, it also works on 446, you know, the PMR stuff. Locally, there are shops and businesses that use them. But uh, if you want to talk to them, they won't hear you unless you've got the right tone. I mean, you shouldn't talk to them anyway, but if you want to, you've got to have the right tone that they're using. So say, for example, they're on 88.5. You've got to transmit 88.5. Oh, I don't hear you. Now, I know some people are going to say, oh, well, you can buy a so-and-so scanner or you can buy this equipment or that equipment. It's far better way of doing it than this. Yes, of course. But I'm just talking about if you want to find out if you've got one of these or you only want to spend a few pounds and get one of these. What are these now? 20 quid? I think they're about 20 pounds. <laughs> That's probably why I've got so many. I think some of them I paid 18 pounds for. But uh, yes, there are better ways, of course. It'll also do the digital, the DCS, digitally, digitally controlled squelch. Easy for you to say. So, yeah, it's useful. It is useful if you want to. You might have a local amateur radio repeater. You might, I don't know, be in a different part of the country. You think, what's the tone on this? So uh, just go to the repeater output frequency and when it pops up, scan the tones. I've got this frequency counter what is it McBosel or McBasel SF103 2 to 28 2 to 2.8 gigs that's quite nice the only thing this will give you the readout of the frequency if someone's having a chat all right now I've tested this if someone's having a chat on that about 30 feet away this will find it it'll show you the frequency they're on and the CTCSS or the digital uh, figure that they're on it'll come up on here which is quite useful but you've got to be within I've, I reckon about 30 feet I've taken this to various events I made a video all about this one so you can find that and have a look I've taken it to events you see someone you know uh, a bit of a problem at the main gate can you come and have a look and it comes up on here <laughs> CTS and everything so I can then program mine and say no I'm too busy go to the main gate yourself and they say who's that no I wouldn't do that would I could grief stone the crows but that's rather like I think that was 40 quid that's quite good but you've got to be near to the person on the radio okay that'll do for now I'm just waiting on another frequency now something local some business frequency I'm waiting for them to pop up so I can see what uh, CTCSS tone they're using. <laughs> right, hope you have some fun with that. Take care, see you next time, bye bye.